G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 49 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, on today's episode, this episode right now is the most special episode that I've filmed so far. It is. <laughs> and it's not because I'm a special guest on the Fluid Art Express, which that's what I am this week. And while I'm actually talking about the Fluid Art Express, right before me was the amazing Taz Lima of Taz Lima Mayer Art. And I'll tell you what, if you actually haven't checked out her channel yet, press stop on mine right now and go and check out hers. You won't be disappointed because she's amazing. <laughs> but make sure you come back and check mine out. <laughs> and right after me is our fearsome leader, our train conductor, Darren, AKA Wombat from Venom Fluid Art. And while I'm talking about Darren, that's why this episode is so special. Because last weekend, I actually met up with Darren and Kayleen, aka Wombat and Bubbles. And I'll tell you what, I started this YouTube channel. Well, actually, I started my art journey um, for my own personal struggles. I, was, I, I am using um, art as a distraction technique through my chronic pain and also my mental health. That's why I called my channel The Fine Art of Distraction, because I'm distracting myself from all those struggles. But no way in a million years would I have ever thought that I would meet so many wonderful and amazing people through the wonderful world of YouTube that I now call my best friends. And I feel so privileged and honored to actually meet two of those in person, Darren and Kayleen. So I'll tell you what, it was almost like Christmas morning, like where we, we'd booked it so many months like, like earlier and we kept messaging, messaging each, each other saying, is it February yet? Is it February yet? <laughs> and then even on the morning when we were going to meet up, we actually filmed ourselves getting in the car and taking off. <laughs> And we sent the videos to each other and said, we're on our way. <laughs> and while I'm talking about like the Christmas day and all that sort of stuff, it was so special because they didn't know that I had made them presents and I didn't know they had made me presents. <laughs> and um, uh, like the gifts that I got, wow. Oh my golly gosh. <laughs> I'll, I'll just quickly show them to you. So we all know that Darren likes to, to carve out some um, little um, projects to, to paint on. So he actually gave me one of his butterflies. He also gave me one of his stars and Blinky Bill, <laughs> koala bear. <laughs> Doesn't stop there yet. So he also gave me two of his um, amazing blooms. Like, how awesome are they? These are unbelievably cool. So, 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 so cool. <laughs> and Bubbles made these ones. I love these because these are my favorite colors. Check out them. So, so, so cool. So we've got a bloom and a radial swipe. And I'll tell you what. Bubbles is the radio, ra radial swipe queen. <laughs> Check out how cool that is. And there was one other gift that um, Darren gave me, which was a bit, a bit suspect, I think. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to show this. So his nickname is Wombat, and he gave me some Wombat juice. <laughs> Looks a bit suspect, don't you reckon? <laughs> it's actually pouring medium. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, enough of me sort of waffling on. Um, so basically, today's episode is actually filmed on location down at Kiama Beach. Um, and I will be doing a open cup um, nebula pour. So a galaxy pour. And I'll tell you what some really special things happened in the middle of filming and you'll see that in a second. All right, guys, now that I've told you what I'm going to be doing today, let's head over the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using and then yeah, we'll get, get into it. Thanks guys. 
Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're going to be using today, and as you can see, it's just acrylic paints. We've got Global, and we've also got El Rado de Polo. <laughs> so, the Global colours that, that I'm using today, they're all fluoro. So we've got fluoro orange, fluoro yellow, fluoro green, fluoro blue, and fluoro pink. The El Rado de Polo colour is Harbour Night. Now that colour there is actually an extremely dark blue. It's almost black. That's how dark it is. So it's the perfect colour to do a galaxy pour or a nebula pour, whichever you want to call it. And that's what I'm doing today, a nebula pour. All of these paints, so the El Rado de Polo and all of the globals have been mixed with Aussie Flow Troll two to one. So that's two parts Aussie Flow Troll to one part acrylic paint. We got that? Two to one. We've also got uh, the blowtorch there in case I need to get rid of any air bubbles. All right guys, now that I've showed you what products we're using, let's, uh, well actually, let's head down to Kayama and start pouring. Thanks guys. Alrighty guys, so we've got all our paints mixed up and we're ready to rock and roll. Um, basically what we've done is we've used the old um, containers of the actual original um, paints. So we've got fluoro pink, fluoro blue, fluoro orange, fluoro yellow, fluoro green. And this black here actually isn't global black, it's actually El Rado de Polo. And we've got a big blue tongue lizard just about to sort of fly past. <laughs> and we're actually, I say that because we're actually on location down at Kayama. And we've actually got two really awesome people with us today. We've got Bubbles and Wombat. Say hello. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> you. <laughs> So we decided a, a while back that because um, we, we all, li well, us three live um, semi close to each other, we decided to sort of um, go out and do a painting on location. So here we are down at Kayama. Um, I will do a, a, a pan shot of where we are. We're literally right on the beach. So, you! <laughs> Alright guys, so what we're actually going to be doing today is... Um, because I really couldn't go huge today, we're going to do like a small um, open cup and we're going to do like a, basically like a, um, a space sort of vibe. We've got like a dark blue um, as the base and then we're going to do the open cups with all of the fluoros. So we can put that away because that's actually that in there. So let's just move these to the side. All right, no worries. All righty, so. So we're basically just going to sort of pour it straight on. Maybe a little bit more. Get the old swiper rooney out. Now, at this stage, it actually doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to pop a little blob in the middle. And that's what our cup is going to sit in. Like so. 
So basically what's going to happen now, when I actually pour the paint in, that um, base coat is actually going to sort of raise up as the, the colours go underneath and then it's basically going to sort of skim across the top of all the colours. And we should see some uh, nice sellage because this is actually mixed two to one with uh, Aussie Flow Troll. So we want to go up a little bit and simply just pour straight in. Now the cup is allowed to move, so don't stress if it starts moving. Oh, spill a bit. You'll start to see the actual cells open up in a second. Yeah, I might just sort of lift that up just so we don't lose it all off the edge just yet. A little fly there. Hello Louie. Louie came to say hello. You can see these uh, cells starting to open up now. Now they start to stretch it across. Turning into a very nice nebula. Gorgeous. Now, if you guys didn't realize the order that I actually went in, I actually did the order of like the um, the rainbow sort of the, the the rainbow rule, basically where I started um, with the yellow, then went to the green, then went to the blue, then went to the pink, and then went to the orange. So then, now that we've got the orange in there, now we can actually start the whole process again, if we wanted to, by going to yellow. But I actually think there's actually enough paint on there, because it's only a very small canvas. I'm not used to doing these ones. <laughs> now this little bit here, I actually learnt this trick from Angie Mason. So basically, as you sort of pull the, the, the cup away, you give it a bit of a, a spin. So basically, you're not going to be left with a blank bit. And that, that base coat sort of covers everything nicely. Super cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. Alrighty, now, before I ruin these lids, I might just put them on so I don't contaminate the colours. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> And by sort of doing this little bit of uh, maintenance, by putting the lids on, it's giving the, uh, the paint a good chance to sort of work its magic and release the cells. Tiny 
Aha. And we just want to use the blowtorch to get rid of any bubbles, which I can't really see any actually. Maybe the car ride got rid of all the bubbles. Yeah. I actually can't see any bubbles, which is fantastic. Sweet. <laughs> what? Don't, don't mind that. All right, so now we're actually going to tilt this bad boy out. And by sort of tilting it out, we're actually going to open up the, the cells and, and the, the paint from underneath. And we're going to get a nice nebula sort of look. But I don't want to go off the edge just yet. So I want to bring that back. Bring it back to the center. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom left corner, or my bottom left. Tell you what guys, I'm loving what this is looking like. You! Spectacular. Thanks, Bubbles. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm holding in my you! <laughs> All right, so at this stage, I'm actually going to go off the edge. And go right off the edge and bring it back a little bit. Used to these tubs. <laughs> Need a bigger box. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way off the edge and then bring it back. We've got some school kids coming past. <laughs> yeah. And we're just going to go off that bottom, bottom corner. corner and it will take a little bit for it to stretch down there because there's actually not that much paint left on there but there is enough to get down there Like so. Now I'm just going to tilt it straight down like that just because I want to get rid of that, a little bit of that orange off the bottom. Not much will come off because there's actually not that much paint left on there. <laughs> Thanks, Bubbles. Awesome. You're just being quiet. You're just watching, aren't you? 
<laughs> it's school <laughs> Alrighty guys, so there we are here. So basically what do we gotta do? We gotta wipe our bottom. Cause we don't want a dirty bum, do we? No. <laughs> And if you miss any corners, just dab a little bit from the side. But I think we're done. Can I steal a paper towel? <laughs> Thank you. Towel. Coming from both sides, please. <laughs> What do you reckon of this bad boy? Yeah! This is wicked cool! Yeah! I've got a whole heap of school kids here looking at me going, what's this crazy dude doing? Well, kids, I actually just done a painting. Check out that. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> you want to see? I just did that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best. I've got a whole heap of school kids running past at the moment. That's the that's the beauty about doing things on location. You. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like what you saw here today. Please hit the like button. I'd love to see hundreds of likes for this one because we're on location with two of my best mates. And I, I tell you what, I, I feel so privileged to have um, Bubbles and Wombat as my friends because I love them dearly. So, yeah, so I want to see hundreds of likes for this bad boy. You! <laughs> if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, then hit the little dark bell. That'll actually indicate when I upload new videos. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this, please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs> <laughs>